All right, well, let's talk a little bit about mortality, shall we? So what's the concept of mortality? Well, uh, let me see, is this a good place to sit here? I'm just gonna sit here, uh, just so that there's no background noise. Uh, but essentially, the idea of mortality is uh, the, the understanding that um, life is really short and um, within that short time span you just really want to make sure you do everything you want to do uh, there are some very frightening stats out there that say for instance that we sleep for most of the time right we sleep for years in our lives um, after your kids are 18 years old for the rest of the life you only spend one additional year with them I believe so things like that and um, I just sometimes you really need to hold that in front of you uh, I'm coming out of the sauna by the way that's why I'm sweating so you need to hold that in front of you and ask yourselves do I really always want to play it safe or do I want to have a shot at really going for my dreams and each time I've done that in my life it was well worth it. I live a very comfortable life. I am a serial entrepreneur. I'm an investor. I'm a mentor. And I, I'm i sure I am in the top 10% of the income bracket. And everything I have, I have because I've taken action um, when others might have said the timing is not right um, it's too unsafe to do that it's too risky um, and I can think of three instances really uh, top of mind that I want to mention so the first one is when I immigrated to the United States I had a very stable, predictable job in Luxembourg, made good money, um, was set for life because I worked for the government, gave everything up to go study in the United States. Then after my studies, I picked up a job for about a year as a software developer. And after a year, I, I quit that job to start freelancing. Um, so that's the second instance where I really took a big risk because most people will tell you, ah, oh, it's too difficult, you won't make it as a freelancer. Nowadays, I have a, a seven-figure uh, business, you know, I have several businesses. And the third aspect that I am thinking of these days is um, some more risky investments. Um, Years ago, I bought Bitcoin when one Bitcoin cost $2,000. As you know, nowadays, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin is around $40,000, okay? So I had bought four Bitcoin back then for $8,000 and that turned into $160,000. Now, some of that money I put into tra traditional uh, savings, um, but I recently came across a phenomenal project in decentralized finance, a community bank that um, is built on a cryptocurrency called the Elephant Token. So I reinvested a good amount of those gains from my Bitcoin into that bank and I'm seeing absolutely phenomenal returns. Um, this is the, the, the third time I am willing to really uh, take risks in life. And I'm doing that because, listen, I'm 42 now, life is not over, <laughs> for sure not. 
I have still a lot to achieve um, and I'm very driven by success and making money so I definitely um, I'm going to build a multi-million uh, if not billion dollar company with Sinead Moray and Andrea Ferguson Growth Academy where we teach corporations and high net uh, performers to uh, be visible online but um, I do think that you know it's time to to live uh, very boldly and show people that you can live boldly so um, two weeks ago I bought a Rolex Daytona uh, a 1995 Rolex and uh, the watch has a, a worth of $35,000 so things like that um, last month I ordered the Tesla Cybertruck um, this year we're going to travel again to uh, so often very often um, Valentine's Day is upon us and I just spend a grand on making sure that Andrea and I have a great weekend so stuff like that is very important um, now I know some of you will say well you know that's that's cool um, for you easy for you to say I'm not at all in that situation. I don't have that money. I, I live paycheck to paycheck and um, I, I can barely survive. And I, please don't be offended. I know, I know that those people are out there, but I want you to know that you can always improve your situation. Um, and this, this video is not gonna be about that, obviously, but uh, there is always a way to, to improve and to um, to just get on in on the next level and uh, that's that's what I, I you should never give up that that hope and that dream but you got to do something for it you got to take action and, and one of the main drivers that makes me take action is knowing that my time as an active healthy individual is finite is really finite um, so, yeah, hopefully this uh, motivates you to, uh, to, to get uh, grinding or, you know, whatever you call it um, and, and make your, your dreams come true. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you know where to leave those. Uh, give me a like and maybe even a subscribe, and then I'll be back for you very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.